In this lesson, we're going to talk about absolute and relative positioning in React Native. So we have our container with three items in it, just like before. Now, what if you want to move this gold view without changing the layout around it? It's very easy. So here's our gold view. We can set top to 20. Now, when I save the changes, this gold view will move 20 independent pixels from the top. Look, here it is. We can also set a negative value. So our gold view moved negative 20 pixels from the top. This is exactly the same as setting the bottom property. So if I set bottom to 20, that means you want to move this gold view 20 pixels from the bottom. You also have left and right. So let's move this 20 pixels from the left or 20 pixels from the right. So with these properties, we can position a component relative to its current position without affecting the layout around it. So in all these examples, the blue and the red views have been exactly where they're supposed to be. They didn't move around, right? This happens because in React Native, all components by default have their position set to relative. So this is how relative positioning works in CSS as well. In contrast to relative positioning, we have absolute positioning. Now, if I save the changes, this gold view will be positioned relative to its parent, which is this container that takes the entire screen. And these other views will move around as a result of this positioning. Let me show you. Before I save the changes, let's set top to 20 and left to 20 as well. So we can see clearly. So save, look, our gold view is positioned 20 pixels from the left and top of its parent. That's the container that takes the entire screen. And as a result of this positioning, these other views moved around, so they're not in their original position. Let me show you one more time. So I'm going to change position back to relative. Look, with relative positioning, these two views did not move. They stayed in their original position. If we use absolute positioning for this gold view, it will be positioned relative to its parent, and these other views will be repositioned. Look, they moved around, okay? So to recap, in React Native, all components by default have their position set to relative, which means we can move them relative to their current position without changing the layout around them. If we change the position to absolute, we can move a component relative to its parent and the layout around it will get affected. This is all about absolute and relative positioning in React Native.